them. I love sluts. I love them. Hi friends. Welcome to my California vlog. I realized I didn't film an intro and I feel like it'd be weird to just drop into California. So a little backstory. My birthday was December 8th. My work party was a couple days after that. So my job was going to fly me out to California anyways. I figured I'd go out for a full week, do a little birthday trip at the beginning and then go to San Diego for the work party. Um, my sister actually just moved to LA to be a travel nurse, so she's there for a couple months. So it was also like perfect opportunity to go visit Courtney and then go down to San Diego. So I flew out at 7 a.m. on Sunday. Saturday night I worked till 2 a.m. Um, fell asleep for about an hour and a half, woke up at like you know, four to shower and get ready and then I was in my Uber for the airport at five. So barely slept. Um, it was a very long day, but made it to San Diego, got my rental car, drove up to LA, got Courtney and Dan. Then we went up to Santa Barbara. I've always wanted to go to Santa Barbara. And you know what? It exceeded my expectations. I was like, this is like the fake town that Saved by the Bell lives in, you know? So all this to say, I'm going to leave you in Santa Barbara right now. Hello, we are in Santa Barbara and I think I'm more obsessed with this than San Diego. I don't know, I'm telling you. <laughs> but we just had the best brunch. Chads. Um, <laughs> Chads. Chads. <laughs> A good Chad for once. Huge serving sizes. I had corned beef hash, eggs benedict, and you had. I had a breakfast sandwich. It was like a basically a bacon, egg, and cheese, but I added avocado because born in California. <laughs> but also, um, instead of bread, which I think all restaurants should give you bread, they gave us little muffins. <sighs> And then we were like, we're going to save the last four and put it in our to-go thing. He brings us a fresh batch. That's so hot, warm muffins. He go. got a big fat tip. I can't get over this view. So you can see the mountains in the back and the ocean. It's just like right so here. Everything gorgeous. is perfect. All right. Before my phone dies, we'll see you later. Very important for us to come back on here. We did have a mimosa flight. Flight, and they were <laughs> magnificent. Um, I think the best one was the peach. Honestly, they were all like. 100% champagne. champagne. So Cuz we're, we're like so I don't we're like I don't taste the difference between any of these. Uh, they were so cute. <laughs> so cute, so good. We're like we got to make a flight out of any and everything. Yeah, like flight parties. Pasta flight, chocolate flight, my fat ass is naming foods. Chicken nugget flight. <laughs> Mac and cheese flight. Like dip flight. Ooh, so yeah, that's what we'll be doing, but you got to buy the little board. I think that's so cute. All right. Now we are really Bye. leaving. Bye. Oh my God. Again, this is what I think when I think California. I'm so obsessed with Santa Barbara. Since last night, Courtney has been wanting to test the water. Oh, it's, it's a little cold. So. Okay, it'll probably feel good unless we go night swimming. Yeah. I've been wanting to ride a bike in California since like 2013, so it finally happened on this trip and what a perfect place to do it in. State Street in Santa Barbara is closed down to car traffic so people can walk around and shop, so it was the perfect place to ride your bike and feel safe. Also, there's great paths by the beach and the pier, so it was the perfect spot to do my California bike ride. All right, so that was the perfect little weekend getaway birthday trip in Santa Barbara. I will be going back. I'm now obsessed. Um, but that was like kind of for my birthday. So Courtney was nice enough to get me a present. This has been in my suitcase on the airplane. So it's a little smushed. Um, was not expecting anything. But Courtney got me stuff that I feel like I borrow from her a lot. So she's like, now you have your own. So we'll do a, like a mini Sephora haul. But this was very nice of Courtney to get me. So the first thing she got me were the Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Glow Kit. So I have the bronzer and then... Is it the bronzer and the blush? What is this? Highlighter and blush. Okay, so no bronzer. Um, a highlighter and a blush. I'm so jazzed about this because this is something I've been wanting to try but probably wouldn't buy for myself. So thank you, Courtney. Next, the Charlotte Tilbury Glossy Fresh Pink Lip Duo. So it has this lip liner in Pillow Talk, which is like the famous Charlotte Tilbury lip color, and then a mini collagen lip bath. Mm, in Refresh Rose. So very excited to try this. This one I was most excited about because this is the thing I borrow from my sister the most. It's not focusing on my face. Okay, so this is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Truly every time. Courtney's is at pan probably because I borrow it so much. So I finally have my own. I'm growing up, guys. I don't know how to apply it, but... I'll learn. Then she got me a NARS concealer. Then she got me the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I have this on now under my Kylie lip gloss. Um, so this is just a balm, so it's clear, but it goes on like old school style. Let's see if I can do this right. 
There we go. So that's the applicator. But like my sister knows makeup trends more than I do. I would say 90% of my stuff is drugstore and then I'll like get a few like nicer things here and there. But like Courtney has the good stuff. So now I have the good stuff thanks to Courtney. And then finally, is it finally? I think so. Um, the Super Goop Glow Screen. I have a lot of Super Goop products. So always nice to restock. So Thank you, Courtney. I was not expecting a gift at all. We're like not big gift givers. I got her Jonas Brothers tickets, but that's because she turned 30. So yeah, I thought her just coming with me on the trip was a present enough. Your presence is the present to me. Um, but actual presents are always good too. So big thanks to Courtney. Now I can look like a real girl. <laughs> so if you're interested, all those items will be linked down below. So now we will take you to San Diego. Hello from San Diego. Naturally, there is a plane landing on my head. It's only 6.30, but it feels like midnight. I've been at work all day. Um, I wasn't gonna vlog, but I wanted to show a little commotion for the outfit as I was walking back to my car. Some girl like slows down. She goes, you look so beautiful. And I knew she meant it. So I'll show you just the little quick OOTD of what I wore to work today. There was so much like back and forth. I'm like, because I'm so rarely in the office. And I was like, what do people even wear? Um, so very simple, but I felt so cute. This is very boarding school bitch. So I have this pleated kind of <laughs> Seinfeld puppy shirt. This is from Fashion Nova. I've had this for like three years. It's down to here. So I tucked it into the leggings. Then I have my Shein pinafore, super cute. I have little booties and then these tights are not really tights they are leggings that turn into mesh at the end so no weird chub rub and they stay up on your waist so yeah thank you to that girl who slowed down her car to tell me i'm beautiful now i get to rot on the couch because i went to the farmer's market and i got street meat also i'm watching good burger too okay a little farmer's market haul so i got chicken over rice i usually have a go-to at the ocean beach farmer's market and I get pad thai, but I figured I'd do something different this time. So there's a lot of veggies and stuff on here. I figured I should have a nutrient. And then I got a coconut dream bar and a cookie. Good morning. So I've been up since 5 a.m. It's like 8 a.m. now, but I did go to bed at 9 p.m. So we'll see. Um, so today's the day of our office Christmas party. I think that starts at like noon. It's at a brewery. So I'm kind of in the camp right now of do I go to work? and then go or do I work from home and then go because it is closer to me like it's literally down the street if I just like stay home and I talked to a few people yesterday they said they're gonna work from home and then go but me being awkward and socially anxious if I go to the office there will be people to go with like we would share an uber so that's where I'm at right now um I might, I'll probably go to the office but like late um because I still need to shower and do all that kind of stuff. I figured right now I'm gonna walk downtown, get a breakfast burrito. We're also supposed to bring like a toy for a donation. So there's a Target by the burrito place. So I'll get those, come home, shower, and then maybe go to the office around like 9.30. It's like one of those like fake work days. Um, but yeah, I feel like going to the office and having people to share an Uber with and walk into the party with. That's all I'm really nervous about because it's not just the accounting team, it's also like legal and stuff. So if I walk in there and I don't know, a soul, like, oh, that's, ugh, it makes me squirm. So that might be the case. Also, if I Uber, I can drink more at the brewery. And you know I'm always drinking on someone else's dime. So, <sighs> lot to, ruminate over but first and foremost let's get a breakfast burrito all right guys i did not get an uber to the office or any of that i just left straight from here and i survived an office christmas party here's the look so first of all headband from five below a christmas sweater from mod cloth the um okay so i get there and it's a stone brewing in San Diego and someone during the summer had recommended this to me to go like on my travels. Uber drops me off outside and I'm like, where's the front door? I had no idea. Um, I see someone I kind of know and he's like a new hire. So I'm like, I've seen his face, but I have no idea what his name is. And he comes up to me, he's like, where are we supposed to go? So I'm like, okay, now at least I have a buddy 
with me because I'm like, I look so pathetic looking like on my phone trying to figure out where to go. Also, we did the Toys for Tots drive. Some military man, like full Marines garb, pulls up his car. He's like, are you going to the Toys for Tots thing? I was like, yeah. He's like, where are we supposed to go? I'm like, bitch, I don't know. So I feel bad. I did see him. He finally ended up there, so he made it. Um, then my direct supervisor pulls up and I'm like, well, I'll just follow Steve. So luckily it was far back. So I would have never made it by myself, but we all made it to the party, but it was nice. I've never worked at a place that had a formal Christmas party. Um, when I worked at a fashion company, like a bunch of us just went out on our own. We're like, oh, we'll go to a bar and have drinks, you know, on our own. Like there was never anything official. Christmassy. So this was nice. They had a DJ who did like raffles, trivia, all this stuff with prizes. And with the Toys for Tots things, I bought two that entered me into the raffle twice. And I'm looking at the prizes and there was a lot of like $100 gift cards, you know, blah, blah, blah. I wanted these headphones. And then uh, they were doing the thing and you know what? Who won the headphones? Me! So I've wanted over-the-ear headphones for a very long time just because when I'm walking Betty, always, no matter what, someone from across the street is like, what kind of dog is that? So I'm like ripping the headphones out. I'm like, what? There's always someone talking to me. So I'm like, with an over-the-ear headphone, they'll know I have headphones on instead of the AirPods. Um, also, I was going to ask my mom for over-the-ear headphones for Christmas. So these are the Beats Studio Pro. So it like very serendipitous that I got what I wanted because they also were giving away Home Depot gift cards, which is nice, but I'm like, what would I do with that? Also, they were giving away San Diego Zoo membership passes. Again, nice, but I don't live here yet. So like, what would I do with that? Um, so very nice that I won, but also when you won, they're like, oh, come up introduce yourself, say you love your boss. Yeah, I was wine drunk. So I'm like, hey, Shannon from accounting. I love my boss, Jeff. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I, like, I, was, I was a little extra. And then I had to pick the next raffle winner. And there's only four people on my team. One of them is my like direct equal. His name is Paul. And his was the only raffle ticket sticking up. So I saw it said Paul. So I picked his. So um, it turns out everyone on my four person team won. So good for us. But also like, yes, there were a little like weird points. Like when I first got there, I'm like, okay, where do I sit? Cause it feels like a lot of people sat with their team, but we're such a small team that I was like, oh, I, I ended up sitting with the women. I work in insurance. So the one from licensing, I don't even know what licensing is, but I sat with them. They were very nice. We had fun. And then I like, you know, I was doing my rounds and I like met up with these two other guys in accounting and they're like, Shannon, do the rounds with us. So we were just like popping from table to table, introducing ourselves, which was good. And I wouldn't have done that without them. So, you know, it was good to have the team of two other guys to go introduce myself with. It was funny. Like we were outside the whole time and very sunny. Obviously we're in San Diego. So the whole time, like anywhere we were, we were like talking like this. Um, me and James were perusing, talking around people. We sit down and I'm like, ugh, he has a little baseball hat on. He's trying to like put it up. So it was kind of in my line of vision. So every time I looked at James, he just had like this like very high hat on. I'm like, okay, let's just move tables because I can't look at you and not laugh. But very nice of James to do that. But yeah, I was nervous, but it ended up being very successful. Had my drinks won a prize. Also, people were very nice because we only got two drink tokens and I ended up having like 10. People were like, here, have mine. So it ended up working out very well for me. But also it's funny because like I was with my team, again, very small four person team and Paul describes me as outgoing. And then my direct boss described me as shameless. <laughs> I was like, okay, yes, I am the personality hire, which is good in my mind. There's nothing going on in my head accounting wise. So as long as I'm the personality hire, keeping people entertained, we're good. Literally the first thing I said to my direct boss, who I never see, he's also remote. I go, this is kind of phallic, isn't it? So that broke the ice pretty fast. There was also a point where the divisional CFO was giving a speech and I'm standing right there and we did um, big Jenga and it knocked over 
uh, just by the wind. Like we were not doing any Jenga. Knocks over on itself in the middle of his speech. And I'm like, that called his attention to us. And then he's still giving a speech. He's, he keeps looking at me. I'm like, is he gonna pass the microphone to me? Thank God he didn't, but I was ready if he did. I would have been like, accounting, let me hear you scream. Ah! So like, I was ready for it. Um, but thank God he didn't, but I was right next to him. So yeah, I survived my office Christmas party and I won headphones. Eh. Hello, it is Saturday. Once again, great lighting on my part. Um, I extended my car rental for one more day. I just figured that would be easier. Um, just airport pickup wise, but that means I got to do whatever I want today And you know what I there's not a lot going on in my brain So I was like I'll do a workout class and then I'll go to the mall Maybe I should look for an apartment, but like in my head the mall is a good option Um, so I'm doing madhouse dance fitness. I think they do like pole and heel workouts I just signed up for a basic dance class, but I did do the red room which is red light. I don't know. I think they just make it very dark in there. Um, so I'm down with that. Um, I'll probably take my shirt off and just do the sports bra workout. I only have shorts on. Um, I wasted my leggings at the office party and I don't know where the washer and dryer is at my brother's building. I, I look like a, the thumpkin or the thumb people from Spy Kids but I think it'll look better like just the bra and the shorts. We will see. But yeah, it had good reviews and I figured get me moving before I stuff my face at the mall, but I'm excited. Oh my God, guys, I learned something about myself today. And it's that I have no sex appeal. There is not a sexual bone in my body. Um, so that class was a lot of fun. Listen, I knew it would be like a little sexy because it is like a pole place, like they have pole classes. Uh, let's just say I have a lot to learn. Like my hips do not do anything. My saving grace is that I can whip my hair around. But it was so, um, I guess a wake up call to watch the other girls do it. I was like, damn, I love sluts. I love them. Like pussycat doll kind of sluts. We need more of that. Um, I wish I could be like that. And maybe, like I said, I don't think there is a sexual bone in my body, but maybe I can develop a little one. Um, but I, you know, I felt a little out of place, but it was a lot of fun. Very celebratory of being a woman and being sexy. So again, like maybe I could build up to that. I got to learn how to like work my hips and stuff. But, um, that was a lot of fun. I just felt like a little goofy, but it was dark. So I knew no one was judging me, but those other girls are amazing. So more power to the girlies. I would love to be on your level someday. So the mall was kind of a bust. You know, it's a Saturday right before Christmas. So it was a little crazy. I had Panda Express though. Um, I did come to downtown Ocean Beach to get ice cream and watch a sunset. The ice cream place is closed. So I'll have to settle for this. 